long career, he's obviously in great shape. I think you just you're a little bit wiser. Like the body hasn't straight for body right now. Got many miles, and it looks like it's straight away for that takedown. As as suggested, he will be looking to get this one to the ground and to grapple early. Defending here well, Logan. Looking to turn him. The MMA Cork guys are, are, are very good at this uh, at the wrestling see. game, and it's their it's their world. This is what they train day in day out. And, and again, I imagine we'll see some striking and then likely a takedown from Brian himself. Big uppercuts here. He needs to be careful now. Next time he shoots with it, one of those uppercuts, if it lands clean. Yeah. That could be curtains. Yeah. Yeah, he is, he is ducking in quite a bit. He's leaving yeah. himself open for the knee there and as well. And he's coming from quite a long way out as well. I mean, it, it, it could very easily be telegraphed. Very important to be kind of tying together your striking and your grappling and not just shooting Shouldn't naked, be. what they call it. Yeah. Although he nearly had it there. Yeah. Almost did. A win, a win today for uh, Ross will make uh, next gen 2 0, which is uh, a massive accolade for them against yeah. uh, other more well known gyms across the country. For sure. Looking to tie up a leg here. And reaping with that underhook. Take take them. Them. He needs to be careful with the guillotine here, though, that's the only problem. He stepped on the side. side. Yeah. Wrong side, but yeah. <laughs> he turned his neck quite awkwardly there, but he got his head out of it. His side control here could be looking to go knee on belly or mount. Is he searching for, for a corner? Brian is a big dude, I don't know. If Maybe even Americana. Good persistence on the takedown attempts from, from Ross O'Brien there. Yeah. You know, he didn't just give up on it. Um, and he's in the position there he wants to be now. Looking to use the cage to push off. It will be interesting to see how this these two men's cardio fares if it does get into the second round. He oh, seems to be the neck here. The neck. Hard to see from our angle. No, he's taking it out again, so obviously. Just slightly over the chin. No, he doesn't no, seem to be here. I was still one on the other hand. No, can you get a hook in? Brian will be looking to turn his back to the octagon wall here. And he's doing that, he's peeling the shoulder along. Two seconds left. Not letting go of that neck though. No. No. Well Didn't want to reverse it though. Flurry of punches. And that's, that's, that's a tough one to score because Brian landed some shots on the feet, but uh, he was kind of put in precarious positions. I don't know if it was very dominant positions from Ross. Yeah, I think I think Ross did have the dominant positions. Obviously, the strike and definitely went mm. to Ryan. I would probably score just slightly in favour for Ross, but if someone went the other way, I wouldn't. I wouldn't yeah. uh, be too worried yeah. at me either way. Very close. You have to look at the dominant positions. He was inside control for a spell. He was on his back for a spell. Yeah. Um, uh, if you're Ross, if you're getting into those positions in round two to really kind of seal the deal, you want to be uh, take, getting off some strikes on the ground just to kind of, kind of, you know, it's important to not just get the takes down. It's important yeah, to land damage when you're down there too. Danger and damage is the kind of the protocol. That's what you need to be looking for. And and, and you could argue, I suppose, going around the neck, it's danger. But I, I don't know if it was ever really close to being finished. And you have Lee McGill in the cage for Brian Manning. Gloves still on and all. <laughs> <laughs> no messing about with the car, lads. And away we go for a second round. Only the second, second round in all our fights today. Eight fights, two second rounds. Be interested to see if Ross engages the grappling again in this round. Yeah, you could actually. I, w I wouldn't be surprised if Brian engages in, a, in, a, in the takedown this time to try and win back this round. Yeah, it will be interesting to see if um, Brian put the offensive of grappling on display. Very heavy hands here from Brian now, and a lot seems to be getting through when he's throwing as well. Brian looks way more Ooh. comfortable on the feet. Yeah. Yeah. 
I, I take Cameron Clements as a uh, happy sitting at home watching these two boys, uh, you know, wear each other down. For sure. Yeah. You know, it's, in one way, it is nice to get in there and nice to get a fight off, but, you know, uh, rest is, is very important in these kind of tournaments as well and, and staying injury-free. We had a knee to the head there. <laughs> My man, wasn't happy about it. An absolute persistence searching for that clinch to look for a takeoff. And it seems to be kind of a little bit one-dimensional now from Ross, where he's... He's just looking to engage in the clinch or go for yeah. a takedown. He doesn't seem to be offering much by way of striking at the moment. He's leaving himself very open for an uppercut or a knee coming in. He's just ducking in. He's not really hiding the takedown attempts at all. Yeah. It looks like there's a bit of fatigue in Ross at the yeah. moment. Uh, it looks yeah. like if, if Brian put the pressure on, it would be interesting to see how Ross will cope. I would have liked to see Brian He's deep here, though. If you can get those hands together, you imagine Brian is going for a spin. The only thing is, if he, if he does spend too much effort on this takedown, he'll be going to a third. The fatigue and Ross yeah. will be next level. For sure, yeah. You know, you're, you don't want to rush it too much here if you're Brian Manning. You can, you can feel comfortable to bring it into the third round if you feel that your cardio is a lot better than your opponent's here. So, I would like to see Brian show a few leg kicks here, just try and take away the power from the takedowns from Ross. So far, it's all it's been pretty much just boxing. The worry, of course, with the leg kicks, you know his game plan is to get you down. The fear is that he catches you. Yeah, very true. Sure. If, if you're beating him in the boxing game, I suppose, it's hard to switch from that then. Absolutely, and he is. He's, he's picking the shots nicely, Brian is. And Ross well, ideally, what Brian him. would want to be doing is, 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 is maybe finishing off with a leg kick and starting with that boxing combination finish yeah. off with that leg kick and kind of disguise it a little yeah. bit you're dead right Paul in what you're saying you, when you're going against a guy who's trying to get you down to the mat you don't want to be you don't certainly. want to be uh, throwing too many kicks and leaving yourself open for that takedown yeah and certainly you wouldn't want to throw them naked anyway yeah, yeah. and it's well, the first round three we've had all day <laughs> I, I think I think it's safe to say a, a very worse it's 1-1 one, one, if not Maybe one that just might be saying 2 0 to Brian. Brian. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I think, yeah, 1 1 or 2 0. Ross is at all but to do Definitely, this Brian Manning uh, will have to be feeling confident going into this third round. Ross is looking pretty tired there. Yeah. Um, I think he's going to be confident to just do exactly what he did in round two, just kind of nullify the takedown and, and land his, his strikes on the feet. And, and there was certainly a momentum shift in that second round as well. Yeah, Manning is looking not that tired. He's looking very, he's looking fresh in the corner. Yeah. You know, and when you're looking over, if you're Ross and you're looking over across the way as well, and you see that your opponent is fresh, that's very hard to deal with as well mentally. Here we go, first round three of the day, the last fight of the day. Can we finish off with a big hurrah? Middleweight Warriors. Oof. Big left hand. And, and it appears Ross is at least attempting to, to strike with him to start to this round, but he's Brian still one two is landing. Yeah. He's still eating those shots. Brian very patient here as well, not really rushing any type of thing here. Yeah. Yes. Be careful. Especially in these three minute rounds, a takedown can be pivotal. Yeah, you get too excited on the feet there, you will leave yourself open for a takedown. Yeah. But I think it seems to be a cardio issue for us now. He doesn't really have the, the cardio or the strength, seemingly, in this third round to make a fight down. Yeah, two big right hands there for him. find a home for any of those punches. No. Brian seems to almost be landing that one to a will at this stage of the fight. And Ross appears to even almost be striking as if to just to break the rhythm of Brian at the moment. It doesn't seem to be 
seem to be uh, much ferocity behind Ross's punches. No. Manning's in complete control on the feet here. He's having the fight he wants here for sure. Yeah. I think he's waiting for Ross to just throw. Even Ross's punches are are, are not that fast. He's, they can be easily countered as well. So. Yeah. And again, that that big down. and that takedown attempt seems slower again than the previous ones. He's he's certainly suffering from a little bit of fatigue in there. You, you never you want to write someone off, but it, it looks like well, you know Ross looks like he's surviving in there more than yeah. anything else. Ooh. He's eating a lot of strikes, to be fair. To him. At this stage, you almost have to question: is it, is it worth leaving him in there at that stage? Yeah. And in fairness to Ross, he's still so shooting. Yeah. yeah, there's nothing wrong with his chin anyway, that's for sure. <laughs> this is where he knows he's fighting on the back against the cage. Yeah, I would like to yeah. see Brian put him a bit of pressure here now. Yeah, I think it, I think if, if Brian powered it on here, he could definitely get Ross out of there. Ten seconds left. Well, I suppose we are going to have one finish, one fight go to the finish. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I suppose. Uh, Smart fighting by Brian in the third round. Yeah. Very compelling. Took his time. Took his shots. And I suppose you have to do that in the tournament still. You have to really protect your hands and make sure that you don't get injured if you know you're going to pick up the W. That's a big part of it as well. You have to factor in that they, they could be fighting tomorrow and Sunday as well. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it is important yeah. to kind of... Uh, while it's important to win the fight, you have to kind of win it as clean as possible. Not take any punishment. With the three ra three minute rounds as well, I mean, you can't afford really to get taken down and be kept down. You know, we've seen that happening yeah. in round one, and Ross got him down there, and, and it probably cost Brian the round. If it, it'd be interesting to, to hear the scorecards here, but you know, it turned it into a closer round than what it what it could be, and we saw that when Brian kept it on the feet in rounds two or three, he did enough to uh, to get those rounds in my book. Yeah, and if Brian Manning wins by unanimous decision. Just had it on screen. So Brian Manning does move.